George Ellery Hale is the reason that we're here. Um, it's the reason that there's so much astronomy in Southern California, and he helped push a lot of the really huge revolutionary developments that facilitated modern astronomy in the 20th and 21st century. The work that they did, the discoveries that were made, so the fact that Shapley mapped the shape and size of the Milky Way, that Hubble was able to measure the distance to these fuzzy nebula that we didn't know what they were, that Hummison and Hubble built on work by Slipher and Lemaitre to actually measure the expansion of the universe. All of that was facilitated by these massive telescopes. Mount Wilson Observatory was founded at a time when the United States was thinking big about science and industry and everything. George Ellery Hale, who founded the observatory, first went to the mountaintop in 1904. There was nothing but a, a little trail, nine and a half miles long. He had already spearheaded building the world's largest telescope at Yerkes, but the weather is not so great uh, when you build a telescope at sea level next to a lake. So George Ellery Hale wanted to build telescopes on a mountaintop and somewhere where it's a lot clearer and nicer, have a lot more weather to do astronomy, and at Around the beginning of the 20th century, Andrew Carnegie was taking his massive fortune and creating a lot of foundations and putting it towards nonprofit work. And one of those foundations was the Carnegie Institution of Washington. They started out as a grant giving institution, so they had this massive endowment to help do all of the science, like all the cool science ever. It was going to be the like best scientific institute in the world. George Hale, who was in Chicago, saw this as an opportunity to pitch building an observatory, a mountaintop observatory, specifically in Southern California. The, the observatory was built from late 1904 up until about 1918 when the 100 inch was finished with five facilities that were either the first of their kind in the world or the biggest of their kind in the world or both. That meant that folks who wanted to use or do cutting edge astronomy, observational astronomy, had to come to use these telescopes. And so as a result of that, you see a direct connection between all these really smart, cool, interesting discoveries being made in Southern California um, because this is where the telescopes were. As the 100-inch telescope was being built, a young man named Edwin Hubble, fresh out of college, came to the mountain and Hale wanted to hire him to work on the new 100-inch telescope. And the massive mirrors collected enough light to allow them to study the most distant objects in the universe and led to the discoveries that everybody knows his name for now. He really got to do what he did because he had access to those telescopes. Hale was sort of always thinking about the next big thing and how to get the best equipment to do the best science, even if he's not the one doing it, to have a facility with great scientists with the best tools to make whatever cool discoveries they wanted to make about the universe. It was really like um, an all-star cast coming to the observatory. It was the mecca of astronomy. And a very important thing for the United States in general in the early 20th century. In addition to, you know, bringing solar astronomy to Southern California, he helped facilitate the construction of the world's largest telescope again three times after leaving Chicago. So first with the 60-inch telescope on Mount Wilson, which was the world's largest when it was completed, which didn't last very long because when it was completed, they were already building the 100-inch telescope. The 100 inch was the biggest in the world until 1948 when the 200 inch at Palomar was completed. Hale had spearheaded the building of that telescope, but he didn't live to see its completion. And that telescope bears his name as a result of all of his really hard work. And these were revolutionary telescopes, not just because they were big, but because it was the first time that big reflecting telescopes had been created uh, using a mirror instead of a lens. And he was sort of a really tireless, I mean, he worked nonstop. You sort of read what he did. It, makes me feel incredibly lazy. He helped found the Astrophysical Journal. He also, while in Pasadena, helped push for the founding of Caltech to be what it is now. He also pushed for the Huntingtons to actually develop their estate into a public, publicly accessible museum and garden. So Hale had his hand in a lot of things in Pasadena itself. He was very much, like once he moved here, he was very much a part of the community. George Ellery Hale did a lot, and his contributions are huge not just because of the science that he did, um, but because of what he helped facilitate in science in general.